What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Supercard here on the channel. If you guys haven't already, hit that like button. Do please do so. It helps support the channel. Let's me know you're enjoying the videos. Hit the dislike if you don't like it. You have that option too. Gives me good feedback. So, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It's free, you know. Might as well. If you love Supercard, love WWE, even though it's right now shit, hit the subscribe button and hit that post notification bell. Tell you know when I go live on live streams and post brand new videos. So uh, I just want to say a big thank you to all of you who came on to our live streams this weekend. I had a blast with you guys. You guys make it fun every single time. I'm enjoying doing the live streams every weekend now. So thank you guys for being such a big part of that. And a big thank you for all of you guys for their massive support these past few days. Y'all been killing it and it's crazy. So uh, yeah, I'll see what I can do for you guys as a little bonus reward. I did get something. But unfortunately, it's only for people in the UK. Uh, and I'm talking with my buddy right now to see what I can do with this thing. So be on the lookout for that. I'm not sure if I'm going to use YouTube or Twitter to do that away because, you know, it's only for UK. So it kind of screws up a lot of things. But anyways, let's get into this stuff. So as you all know, we're currently, well, let's just start with the basic stuff that we, I can guarantee talk about today. We have finally got our team ring domination card. And it is Daniel Bryan. Thanks to my boy, Digressic, as always, being the lad that he is. There are your ring dom undercards. So big thank you to my boy, Digressic, the maker of uh, so much great stuff. So as you can clearly see, the theme is tag teams. So Rowan and Daniel Bryan, two obvious ones at the top. We have the Uso. Uh, I believe that's Jey Uso is the Neon. Jeff Hardy is the Gothic. Jimmy Uso is the SummerSlam 18. Harper is the Goliath, you know, I guess maybe because they're having the Wyatt family thing in there. I don't even know. And then, of course, we got Matt Hardy, 34, running out the ring domination. So, overall, uh, this is a top-tier card. Unfortunately for me, it's a third. I already have Daniel Bryan Pro. If anyone wants to see what Daniel Bryan, like, you know, stats cut wise Pro, I'll gladly show it to you on my screen right here, right now. There you go. There's Daniel Bryan stats without any momentum on. Overall, an amazing card, top card. I think he's like tied for fourth, you know, because there's a lot of ties in this tier. I think he's tied fourth. You no, know, not many people are better. Like for right now, the only people that are better are like he's better than John Cena. You can clearly see he's already done. He's better than Batista. He's better than Orton. He's almost as good as Seth, but not really good as not really. You know, he's still falls short by a hell of a lot. So, yeah, overall, a pretty good card. And if it's a pro for you, let me know in the comments down below. Hope you guys uh, have a fun time. But, you know, it's ring domination, so it should be a lot of people will get this card like nothing. Ring dom is like the easiest piss mode in this game. So, at least they give a good card for ring dom. And because this was Road to Glory, I'm sure a lot of people will be disappointed. Now, of course, as super card content creators, this is very disappointing. Because, obviously, I've never done King of the Rings this season yet. Because King of the Rings are so effing broken. We're going to get into that in a second. And I can't even do TBGs because they're also down until about May 15. Now, you guys have one more day left to get your money in the banks. I got to do my contracts because I need to get D'Lo Brown. And I'm going to have a week to get him. So I won't have, unless, if I see Umaga in the ring domination, I'm going to freaking lose my mind. Because then I'm going to have to freaking do so much work to get that Umaga. Like, I would literally have, like, maybe two or three days to get Umaga if he is in the ring dom. Because it's just going to be too much shit. You got one day left, 13 hours to get these two cards. Uh, they're good, but if I were people, if you already got, like, D'Lo shits on this card. Look at D'Lo Brown, I think, four stats this card. Maybe besides speed. Not positive. Let me just double check. If you guys are debating what to go with, I would say go with D'Lo more. D'Lo Brown is, like, the better option, in my opinion. He freaking four stats that card, I believe. At least close enough. Yeah. He definitely destroys Kofi. I think he even beats him in speed. I think what was Kofi was two eighteen, and he just beats him in every overall stat. There's like Kofi's at zero here. He uh, one twenty one charisma. We gotta double check that one real quick. Yeah, he destroys him in all four stats. Literally all four stats. So if you guys want my opinion, and even Seth Rollins gets destroyed by uh, I think D'Lo. There may be three stats because they're in charisma. But D'Lo 3 stats, Seth. Honestly, get D'Lo Brown if you do have the single. Go over over these two. There's no point in getting these two. Get D'Lo Brown. 
Unless you want to. That's up to you. D'Lo is a better option when he's in the store. So get D'Lo Brown. So uh, now we're going to get into, like, we can't play King of the Ring. We can't play TBGs because they're currently in the, this update. So this is what we currently have going on. Uh, we had two times ticket packs. Of, obviously, it's been active since two days ago. Same thing for two, uh, two, wild, two times wild mo picks as well. That's been currently active. I'm sure many people are taking advantage of it. I, don't, I haven't really been playing unless it's like events. So, and I already got pros. I, I need females. But is it really worth to grind so much for a female? Uh, I don't even know at this point. I'm probably going to wait for the money in the bank and shit like that to get females. Because at this rate, it's just, uh, I keep getting males, 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 males. And it's just effing annoying at this point. And then, of course, we're going to get the two times King of the Ring and TBG for one entire week. Knowing that, you could probably do about four TBGs at that point if you leave your team during the claim phase and restart it. Or you could do three. About three. So, up to you guys how you're going to do it. Uh, it's pretty sweet. Uh, my team's probably going to do it three times. Hopefully, we get lucky. And that's a lot of content, at least. Gives me good news for that. Now, sorry that this video hasn't been action-packed, but yeah, then we also got, here are the changes for King of the Ring. So they're finally updating King of the Ring. This will now be called King of the Ring 1.5. Uh, I guess if you want to call it that, go ahead and call it that. No, no, no. Yeah, you could have seen this. You could have said something better. All right, so the King of the Ring back in. We'll still place over five rounds. We're moving their branding for clarity. Okay, so go right ahead. If you lose enough games, lose a round, you'll be able to receive the reward and be back out to get into another King of the Ring, which is awesome. I know many people just want to get the hell out of the King of the Ring instead of waiting those hours and hours and hours. Now you, do, cause you could just say, GG, you kicked my ass and get the hell out of there. That's all. That's pretty simple. I think that's very nice of Supercard to join. Way to go, Supercard. People have been requesting this forever, and he finally did it. So it only took you five seasons, but you finally did it. So congratulations. You can now move your cards between solo and tag team matches during an active King of the Ring, which is amazing news for a lot of people because imagine you playing King of the Ring, you have an Andre at LMS card, and you know that LMS card is going to F up your Andre, and you, now you new, guarantee no, because it was still strategy-wise when it came to like with momentum slots, where you could put your cards and where you want to put your momentum slots. So if you knew that was an automatic loss, you would remove your momentum slot there and put it on someone else. You know That's how the strategies worked in King of the Ring in 1.0. 1.5, now it'll be different. Now you can move your cards around. So if I know I could be there and over there and over there, guess what? I'm going to move my card there and put it there. Then you guys can do the same thing. It could be a back and forth process. It's like season one all over again, pretty much, which I do enjoy. I do enjoy this feature, and I'm glad they added this to it now. Thank you so much. Time notifications for searching and active cleanings are improved, I guess. You know, for me, I never really experienced the delay of like waiting. I think this was one time I waited like two hours for King of the Ring. And that was it. So I didn't see the big, like, oh, my God, this is bullshit. Yada, yada. I never really experienced that, but I'm sure people have. I've been seeing some people going, oh, I waited five hours, four hours. I'm like, holy shit. That's insane. And uh, we also made some visual improvements to provide more clarity and context. Uh, they talked about all the stuff. But there's two things that they did not talk about, which were key things that we discussed in the video. Supports. Being broken. They did not say anything there about supports being fixed and no word about heroics being fixed. All we can actually hope for is those two things did get fixed. Because that was my biggest concern with King of the Rings. Heroics was not, were not bullshit. They didn't work. Full heroics were losing to half heroics like nothing. Didn't matter what your car was. Your, your, your car got effed up if you were full heroic. And if you are half heroic, you were blessed. And we discussed nothing about the supports that's been broken for three years of them not using it when they should be using it. Because, you know, people want to use four, all four stats. And the reason why they don't use it is because they know it is a 50% 50 chance that you're not going to call it until game three or game four. Fucking that other person over and then the other person's support actually they did go off and then they just destroy you. So they really did not talk about that. When I hit them up on Twitter, they did not even talk back to me. So... I guess what we can only pray at this point that they did this gets fixed as well when they did this King of the Ring buffer to 1.5. Uh, if they don't, then what can you do about it? You know, King of the Ring would just have to remain a dead mode for like a lot of other people. 
So that's all I really have today. Uh, I'm currently going to be doing these gold vaults. Uh, I got th I could do three of these. I got like 20 gold bars. <laughs> Some shit like that. Let me double check. Uh, I just activated one and I still have 18 more gold. So I could do two more vaults after this. Because there is going to be no content for me to provide. Since the game won't be late, let me provide it for you because everything is down. TVG is down. You know, we do have an event that could help me for like a day or two. But after this, I don't know what else I can possibly do. It, it's, that, it's like that point of like, you just got to wait for the game to come back. And that's what we're going to wait for. So guys, that's all I have for today's video. Sorry, it wasn't like, holy crap. It was just updates and stuff. And uh, yeah, and we did get Rey Mysterio. So thank you all who came to the stream yesterday. It was a fun, awesome time. Wow, we don't have any recent WrestleMania cards. That's cool. So, uh, here's Rey Mysterio. Still have Becky Lynch <laughs> chilling here with both heroics. Just chilling there. Still not even doing it, but yeah. As you can see, Rey. We did get Rey. I'm using this picture because I, I didn't get the Summer Slam 18. I didn't play it. I took a break at that time to revamp for Season 5 because Season 5 would be going ham. I do like this photo, though, but uh, I guess it's, it's just blurry on Blue Sacks for some reason. I don't know. Not really a big fan of the shatter image, but I've seen the SummerSlam 18 one. It looks pretty good. People have been using this image, but it's just too white. Just way too white glow. So, um, and, you know, people would probably use this image as well since it's red. It kind of matches. But overall, we do have, like, pretty much every rape picture. And I, I just love the Season 1 card. It just looks great. So, going with that. So, guys, if you guys enjoyed today's video, leave a like. Thank you all for the support. You guys have been amazing so far this season. I love every single one of you. Take care, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on El Twitter, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Love you.